curious as to your thoughts on using the seculosity uh, ideas and your themes there with the shutdown, COVID, um, Black Lives Matter, what, what we went through this last year. Um, did it bring out, did it verify that these things have failed us or, or have people dug, I wonder if they've dug down deeper into, uh, into this uh, non-Jesus, you know, religion or like in World War II or, you know, like realize, oh, we all, everything's letting us down. I don't, thoughts on that. Have you, have you had like, man, I wish I could add this to the book after seeing how humanity really came out maybe in the bad way this past year. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a, a kind of a leading question, I guess, but I a hundred percent, I see it in all sorts of ways that I wish weren't true. You know, I, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't want this to be, this is not a thesis you want to be proven <laughs> right. true. Right. You want to see stress uh, and, you know, suffering, creating compassion and, you know, love uh, yeah. for your f- neighbor. But what you see is blame and recrimination and uh, right. scapegoating and c- catharsis, uh, you know, the purging of uh, anything that um, that you don't like uh, from uh, that's on the outside rather than looking at the, at the inside problem. So, yes, I think COVID took away. It's like there's there's an idea out there that the reason that um, this is to get kind of heavy here for a second, but the reason that affluent people um, commit suicide more often than, uh, you know, uh, people who with less means is that they have one less uh, reason to for hope, <laughs> because if mm-hmm. you're on the say, sure. say, say you make no money, you think, well, if I make more money, then I'll be happy. OK, and you can kind there's of there's always a more. There's always a more, but Possibly, once, yeah. but once you're at the top of the mountain and you've made all the money and you still have this God shaped mm-hmm. hole or this emptiness or this simply oh. self hatred or right, the, right. The, the accusation of the law um, or use your mortality. Well, then you don't have, you've been, something's been taken from you and you feel more despondent. And so you don't have that if only to, 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 mm-hmm. I think in a lot of ways, what COVID did for people was it took away um some of the stuff that they'd been uh, using as a cushion to yeah, yeah. avoid their own uh, complicity or their own sadness or their own uh, loneliness or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so um, it was like a collective experience of that mountaintop thing where you're like, well, who am I at? now that I don't have as many distractions now that I don't have as many social obligations now that I can't distract myself for, for at least for a brief moment. We, mm-hmm. we were taking before we invented a bunch of new distractions like, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> you weren't at the office anymore. And so you had to figure out who am I, if I'm not at the office or if there's no one that needs me at the office. And I think that there was a collective sort of sigh of relief in some ways, but also a little bit of like a despondency that, um, uh, so the, the way that we responded was, um, to get more sad as well as more angry because you, then you start to amp up the blame of other people who made who you feel made it this way that's a slightly psychological explanation for what is a really a spiritual issue but it's yeah, yeah. um what i saw around me when the covid happened was a little bit of relief from people getting off the treadmill followed by a whole lot of despair yeah and um loneliness and uh these things that i was looking to 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 usually anesthetize numb or like um distract me uh I, I when i don't have them anymore i am faced with my the, the real profound nature of my spiritual malady and that is yeah. very uncomfortable so get me away from that as soon as possible sure. um but yeah when you look at this the way that the political movements went in order to distract yourself or, or to to to, to uh, not think about those deeper issues than how they begin with you you just look to um, other, you start to blame other people. So um, it's not to say there, there aren't real things that were being responded sure. to and real injustices and deep, sure. deep sadnesses. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, I saw that a huge affirmation and confirmation of the thesis of the book that there was no, nowhere to go with your sin, nowhere to go with your shortcoming, nowhere to go with your the stains you feel on your life and on the world um except to double down on the, in the various ways that uh, we know may only make them worse yeah. the um I, I, I can't believe how many families i had uh that were 
more scared during during let's say especially last year more scared um i, I live in a rural of, of set of fluent little almost ridiculous like nobody suffered here like quite frankly probably maybe did better or whatever it's a strange economic world right now mm-hmm. uh but um but they definitely suffered the pre this, this place is the word this is where the word yuppie was invented was lincoln park chicago mm-hmm. so they the treadmill is insane here and uh when and it probably in and out east probably i suppose you closer to dc as, as well but um i had people like literally scared of the future because they actually enjoyed not flying around and working having family and they didn't know what they were supposed to do they were weirdly afraid to go back and i think kind of like what does that mean in my you know what i mean like i should go back then what am i you know it's i don't know what it was it was uh which is good existential crisis um, but that, uh, kind of, uh, shocked me. They have the luxury of talking like that too, as opposed to, yeah, I have to actually have bread tomorrow, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, they have the luxury of having existential crises and, and stuff like that. Um, and if the, in the middle of it, if you have churches losing their nerve, you also like, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. don't have any place for folks to go in that respect either. So I, f- I find there to be just an enormous amount of uh, anxiety and uh, depression among affluent people and an enormous yep. amount of hardship and loneliness mm-hmm. among people who are trying to make ends meet. Yep. And the spiritual questions are enormous. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yet there doesn't seem to be a, much of a willingness to go to where those answers can be found. But of yeah. course, we all know people, you get desperate enough. You might even open your Bible, you know? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think right, that's happened. Right. Yeah. I, have you guys seen that? I've had it huge, huge, or just not even knowing why, but looking for community. Mm-hmm. They don't, they're not coming for Jesus. They don't know. Or the Jesus they're thinking of is the guy that's going to tell them to work harder. But the point is, is like, Hey, people are gathering and smiling over there. Um, <laughs> I mean, we, we've grown immensely uh, from people that didn't have a background. That's awesome. Just looking for, for something. Um Yeah. I don't know what they're looking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking for, but good uh, luck. No, I do. I do think though, like I, I like the 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 comment about the the ramping up of like the blame, especially because I think that that is so. Even like my my congregation, the folks here, um, uh, sort of like Joel, like we came through the pandemic quite well, frankly. I mean, strong. Uh, uh, tight group now um uh, very committed folks and those sorts of things a lot of them anyway um but even amongst them you know they are quick to blame other others yeah, yeah. other entities and they're and they're uh and, and it's you know it's palpable all the mm-hmm. time every weekend and week out every bible study every you know it's there's some remark will be made about uh some political figure you know uh, yep. especially since we just failed to recall our governor it'll just get ramped up even more now right, but right. uh <laughs> Conspir- it's a conspiracy obviously <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> yeah it's a it's a it, and when when you have like a lack of a, a trust um crisis as well yeah I, I think you said earlier that the internet is the same time the internet the internet has made it possible for me to connect with 1517 for people to connect with mockingbird for people to find the gospel when they when they don't live in a in a sitting setting where there is a church that would preach it or there yeah. something like that there's a lot of gifts as we know and covid has has allowed people to stay connected or it's during covid it's allowed people to stay connected and yet the polarization has been just um so poisonous uh, and it's not just that I only see the worst of what the other side is thinking or, 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 or feeling or saying it's that um, I'm incentivized to like only see those things. And, um, yeah, and, and, point. and I don't even know what's true. Like um, we're, li- yeah, I'm, right. I'm paying attention to completely the, the problem in our Congress situation. Cause we have a, we have a, we have a fair amount of political diversity in our church. Yeah. And, um, but as time goes on, the church is playing this role where we're, they're hearing the same thing from, from the church. Like, like we, it's it's a great thing because they can come and hear one thing from the church right, and they can rely right. on it. Yet in every other way, they're listening to completely different voices that are not only just saying different things, but they're using right. different facts to say different things. And so that's oh, yeah. very, also very insane. hard to um, to make sense of because life is already confusing. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely.